back to my channel for another episode of Mikkel Tries. I recently told y'all that I wanted to start doing more videos where I just try things on camera because I love to watch those types of videos and I just thought it would be fun. So today's video is me trying a new skincare line that's completely organic and natural for 30 days. It actually was a little bit longer than 30 days. The brand is Ecosonia. They make Ecotan, which I'm sure you've heard me talk about them before, but that's what I use as my self tanner and they asked me if I wanted to try out their skincare and work with them on a video and I first emailed them back and I was like I'd love to try it out but I want to try it for quite a while before I decide if I want to make a video on it or not reviewing it and then I was like why don't I just record the process of me trying it so people can see my thoughts in real time and how my skin reacts or changes or what I think of it in real time. So this video is sponsored by Ecosonia, but with all of my sponsored videos where I review things, I always make it known that I'm allowed to share my complete and true thoughts about everything. So I'm really excited to take you through the last 30 days and try all this out in real time. But pro tip, perk, because it is sponsored, that means I do have a promo code for 20% off for y'all if we end up seeing together which of these things are worth it. So I have Mikkel Loves for 20% off everything from this brand. So let's get into the 30 days and then I'm going to end the video with my overall thoughts on each product and what I think was worth it and not. Let's go. Hello, I just got my new skincare. So I thought it could be fun to just quickly open it up with you, get first impressions of what's actually inside of this, and then do a morning skincare routine. This is so sweet. They wrote me a little note. I was so impressed to see this packaging. As you know, I love packaging. And on the outside, it looks like there are five steps. Also very impressed by that. I can't read backwards, but it says which step is which in this cool gold font. So clean, glow, hydrate, scrub, and nourish. I have tried a couple of these things before when I did their tanning routine. This is a really nice travel bag made from recycled plastic bottles and recycled canvas. Keep me, love me, use me. Okay, what do we got here? So we have Super Acai Exfoliator for all skin types. This is an intense scrub. This is their primary cleanser. This is a super citrus cleanser. And it's a gel cleanser and it has aloe, lemongrass, and caviar lime. Completely only organic ingredients, but you guys knew that because that's the premise of this whole video. <laughs> that's what that looks like. Then we have the Super Fruit hydrator. I assume this is equivalent to like a lotion. This has hyaluronic acid, coconut water, and wild harvest plum. Ooh, supercharged, hydrated, smooth, and honest. This is probably what I'm most excited to try about all of it. Okay, this is one thing that I have had and used and loved, but I'm embarrassed to admit I did not know it was for your face. <laughs> I have this. This is called Glory Oil, and it says it has acai and pumpkin seed. Apply a few drops to clean dry skin every night and or as needed. Use on face, neck, and beyond. Okay, well, that's good because I only used and beyond. So I'm excited to try this on my face. <laughs> and then last but not least, this is one other thing that I have used. I only use this when I tan the rest of my body, which actually you can use this pretty frequently, maybe even every night, two to three times a week. And this is like a very gradual face tanning water. This has hyaluronic acid, orange peel, and rose geranium, and it does make your skin tan just like the rest of your body, but it's obviously more formulated to be for the delicate skin on your face, and so it doesn't feel as like thick and sticky as a uh, body tanner does. Okay, welcome to my bathroom. Day one, this is the beginning of our one month journey. Ooh, this smells so good. It smells like a lemon bar, <laughs> which I mean, citrus cleanser, so it makes sense. So let's cleanse. Okay, it looks like it builds a little bit of a lather. I appreciate that it feels gentle for my everyday cleanser. I always like to go gentle and I have an everyday cleanser that I typically use and then I will add on different cleansers on top of it. And the reason I love it is because it's gentle. So that's definitely what I always look for. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this real quick. I do feel very clean, very fresh, very clean, very lightweight. Uh, next, let's try the Superfood Hydrator. Super cute, super fruit. Texture is definitely more on the lightweight side. It has like a kind of loose texture to it. No scent, which I actually very much appreciate. Obviously the citrus one smelled amazing because there's citrus in it, but I always get cautious about fragrance. So I appreciate that there doesn't seem to be fragrance. 
Ooh, I like this. It definitely feels hydrating and lightweight, not like thick, but I feel like this feels like the type that would absorb into my skin. So this might wear well under foundation. I'm not planning on doing my makeup today, but I will keep y'all updated in the days to come. It is night two and I have not tried the magic oil on my face yet. Is that what it's called? Glory oil. <laughs> I've not tried that on my face yet. I figured it's best to ease into a new skincare routine. So last night I just did this cleanser and then the moisturizer just like yesterday morning. But I'm going to do the cleanser and then the oil and the moisturizer tonight and kind of ease into it. So let's get a reaction to this. It smells so good. It really just smells like, like some sort of pumpkin seed dessert. Granola. Oh, that's what it smells like. It smells a lot like granola. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this... Warm it up with my hands. It's like if tin is a very thick oil and one is a very thin oil, it's like a seven. I feel like it's on the the thicker side. It's probably very, very hydrating. It smells so good. I always wonder what's the best order to do things. I normally do like oils and serums and stuff directly on my skin. I wonder if it's intended to do that and then moisturizer. This definitely feels more of like a heavy duty combination. I feel like I don't need to do this every single night, just on the night my skin feels drier, which honestly is about half the time. It has been about a week of using the new skin system, checking in on my skin, haven't washed my face yet for the day, but everything is feeling really good. My skin is feeling very hydrated, but not like, heavy like i don't feel like there's a heavy amount of product on my skin i've been using the oil on my neck every night ever since i tried it there is still a little bit of dryness around here so i'm thinking it might be time to use the exfoliating scrub today and see what we think about that but overall i haven't had any breakouts which normally whenever i start trying a whole new product line on my face normally whenever you switch things up your skin kind of reacts a little bit massage in a circular motion leave on to skin for two to three minutes and then rinse off with warm water oh wow it is like a bright purple i guess that's the acai the smell smells like a smoothie i'm so surprised at how vibrant that is given it's all organic all naturally derived it is like a thicker granule than a lot of the face scrubs i use circular motion leave on for two to three minutes Okay, it's been about two and a half minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off. Something that's interesting is I'm sure this is like an oil base. Let's see, yeah, the first, the second ingredient is avocado oil, which normally after I use an exfoliant, my skin feels very dry, but this almost feels like I exfoliated my skin and then put on a moisturizer. There is a little bit of redness and flushing, which is to be expected when you are doing something slightly abrasive. I mean, it does feel different than most exfoliators in the sense that I feel a residue left behind in a hydrating way. Stuck on my mind, my mind. So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning, building cat mystery. I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think. This is my skin about three and a half weeks after starting to use these products. I have no makeup on. Um, I would say that the texture is feeling great. It's feeling very hydrated besides a little bit of mask knee down here, which is inevitable if you're wearing a mask all the time. The dryness has improved significantly though and I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. So just sit with me Talking through the night into the morning Building chemistry I am here with another skin experiment for this video because I got another package in the mail from this brand and they have a face mask, which I didn't even know. So I just washed off my face makeup. I still have my mascara on from the day, but face makeup is gone. And this is the only organic and natural face compost mask with purple power. It says it has organic acai, dragon fruit, and Australian clay. I prefer clay face masks and it is bright purple. That is actually so pretty. I'm excited to see this on. I'm just gonna use my fingers. This says it detoxifies, brightens, calms, and smooths. A purifying and hydrating treatment for your skin. I definitely need the hydration. My skin has been on the dry side. Seven minutes. All right, this is halfway through drying, but I also, this is kind of off topic, but from the same brand, I learned that they have makeup brushes. I got this kit 
of makeup brushes and this past week I traveled and I was on set and I brought this to do my makeup on set because we had to do our own makeup and it was so nice to have this all compact. They're really soft. They're, they're really soft. Okay, it's actually been over 10 minutes now, over the amount of time I'm supposed to have it, but it's not all completely dry. As you can see, like this area is dry, but that area is not. But I don't wanna go too far off of the instructions. I'm gonna wash this off and we'll see how my skin feels. Oh my gosh, my skin feels so good. I'm not kidding when I say that I think that this is one of my new favorites. I obviously have to use this for a while longer to see how I like the results long-term, but a lot of times masks make my skin feel irritated instead of just like clean and fresh. I do feel like my skin feels very hydrated, very clean, very smooth. Oh my gosh, my skin feels so good. Okay, so at the filming of this video, it has actually been about five weeks since using all of these products day to day. And my skin has been really great. It's felt very clean, it's felt very hydrated, but I wanna go through the products one by one and let you know what my favorites were, what I think about each one. Let's start simple. Let's start with the Super Citrus Cleanser. This I would say is probably in my top two, mm, tied in top three favorite products from this whole line. I really ended up loving it because it is just really clean and simple. It smells really nice and fresh and it doesn't feel like it strips my skin. It feels like it does a good job of cleaning it. You know how sometimes you use a face wash and afterward you feel like your skin doesn't want to move? This doesn't feel like that at all. I feel like my skin still has some of its natural oils. Um, it doesn't feel just absolutely parched and dehydrated after washing my skin with it, which I think is great. This is the Superfruit Acai exfoliator. I will say I do love the color of this. It's such a vibrant purple. I will say that this is a little bit more of an, it's called an intense scrub. So it's a little bit more intense than I would typically use. I use this, I think about three times throughout the last five weeks. The times that I noticed that I did have drier skin, sometimes you can see visible skin flakes around my nose, which is something that started happening ever actually since I got my nose done, which is very interesting. So the times that my skin was exceptionally dry and flaky to where you could actually see skin flakes, this was helpful. Helpful. But for me, this was a little more on the intense side to where I only really used it when I saw a visible need. The instructions suggest using this one to two times a week for a treatment. Me personally, I saw this more of like one to two times a month like I said, when my skin was extra, extra dry. I wanna talk about this face mask. This is the Face Compost Purple Power Mask. This is probably my number one thing from this whole line. I love it so much. It also has a beautiful purple color from the acai, as I know you saw, and though I got this about halfway through my skin journey for this video, I've already used it a handful of times because I love it so much. I love clay-based masks. This, I feel like, does a really good job of making my pores feel clean, but yet again, it doesn't burn at all. And I do have very sensitive skin, so a lot of face masks irritate my skin. This, I felt like, did a good job of cleaning my skin, leaving my skin hydrated without burning it at all. This I'm for sure gonna repurchase with my own money because this is like my top three face masks I've ever tried. And I love trying face masks, so I've tried a lot of them. The Super Fruit Hydrator. I really like this. It's definitely a very lightweight moisturizer. It's oil-free. So they say you can mix it with the Glory Oil if you need more hydration. I would say as is, it's a really good AM moisturizer like in the daytime to wear under your makeup so you don't feel too greasy. I would say for nighttime, I would prefer to mix this with oil or use a more heavy duty moisturizer. As I said, I've been struggling with dry skin lately. So I think that this is a really good thing to have on hand when you don't wanna look like you put Vaseline on your face before putting on makeup. So I long-term think, well, I will use this in the morning and then at nighttime, either mix it with the Glory Oil or use something more intense and more hydrating at nighttime. Discussing the Glory Oil, I've tried to be not wasteful with this because it is a high-end product, but I love this. I would say this is my second favorite product. I would say in order, it goes face mask, glory oil, cleanser for my top three favorite things from this whole system. It really smells just like delicious. Like I would eat it, <laughs> which I know sounds crazy. So it's a pumpkin seed, I'm sure, but it does feel super hydrating. It's so multi-purpose. It's great for your skin. You can put it in your hair. You can put it on like your elbows or your knees or wherever. It's just really dry. It's just good for anything and everything. And it just smells so great and so lightweight. It doesn't smell artificial. I mean, it's not. So there's no perfumes or fragrances in it. It just smells very like clean and yummy. And it's so lightweight. I love this. <laughs> this is actually my second bottle of this. I love this. And last but not least, 
the face tan water. I'm sure y'all have seen me use this before because I talked about it and I used it in the video where I showed you my self tanning routine. And I decided to take a before and after picture of me using this just for one night so you can see the difference between one day and one night. I'll put it here. It's definitely something that you can do every single day to build up a gradual tan. I would say the only important thing to keep in mind is if you've exfoliated within the last 24 hours, it won't be as effective. So if you exfoliate, they recommend waiting 24 hours before using it if you want to see visible results. But I really like this. I mean, it smells great. The orange peel and the rose in here smells so good and so lightweight. It doesn't feel too sticky like you would assume it would. It feels very lightweight, very hydrating, which I think is a pretty good common theme amongst all these products is everything is lightweight and hydrating. So I really like this. Um, it's definitely better than putting any old tanner on your face. It is formulated to be, you know, good for your skin, organic, natural ingredients. So my overall thought Thoughts. Obviously, you can see my skin here, and I am wearing foundation. I'm wearing a tinted moisturizer, though, so it's a little bit more sheer. Um, I do have one little breakout, but I started my period this week, so I think that it is hormonal. Overall, it took my skin probably about a week to adjust. Like I said, my skin was having some issues with dryness, but mixing in the Glory Oil did really help to rehydrate my skin. And then using the exfoliator on the days that my skin was extra dry and flaky was really helpful. So overall, it was really fun to play around with a whole complete system. This system can be purchased. It's called the Clear Skin System, and it comes with the cleanser, the exfoliator, the super fruit hydrator, and the glory oil, and the face tan water. So it comes with everything except for the face mask, which I highly recommend buying that face mask. I really, really love that face mask. So that is all one kit that you could get too. Overall, I think the things that I will keep doing in my skincare routine is I will use that face wash in and out with my other everyday face wash. I'll probably have like one in my shower and one in my sink. I feel like they're both pretty interchangeable, good everyday cleansers. And I will obviously use that face mask probably about once a week and the glory oil for a multitude of purposes. And then I have been using the face tan water whenever I tan for quite a while now. Probably move the moisturizer to my makeup drawer to use in the mornings instead of my bathroom where I typically do my nighttime skincare routine. Because like I said, I think personally, I would more likely use that for AM. Those are my thoughts. <laughs> This was another episode of Mikkel Tries. Thank you, Eco Sonia, for sponsoring this video, allowing me to honestly try your products and share my true thoughts about them on this channel. I want to know what other Mikkel Tries things you want to see me try, whether it is a specific brand or, you know, a specific routine, anything. Let me know. I would love to try it out for you. I think that it's just a really fun concept and series for me to make because I enjoy making it. I love y'all with my absolute whole heart. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.